Hello and welcome to Destiny Digits. This is the Soul Urge reading for number three. Uh, if you are motivated by being a creative butterfly, you're social, you're expressive, you're optimistic, like that's the energy of a free soul of a three. So Soul Urge talks about your motivation. And threes, you guys are extremely expressive. You are fun loving. You love to have a good time. Uh, you are kind of like the life of a party, right? You're very artistic right? You may have a creative adventure, a very verbal, uh, you can talk to anybody, you're a chameleon. Um, and so, you know, it may motivate you in life to be in spaces where you can really allow that energy to, to shine. All right, so I will pull three oracle cards. Now, something to keep in mind, you know, energy does fluctuate. So as a three, you may fluctuate from being fun-loving to superficial, you know, just kind of doing things to pass time or just to say we did it, but not really because it gave us value. But that's kind of only when we're operating in like, you know, a, 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 lower, a lower vibrational space. All right, let's see if we can get at least one card to come on out here. Thank you guys for being patient with me. All righty. All right, so threes, you know, all right. First one we have is purification. And so... In short, this is literally like just a bath, a cleanse, um, you know, a, a, a holistic cleanse. So this is physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. You know, this is really just purging our body of, of, of what we have collected and of things that have been deposited in us, you know. And as a three, if you do spend time with a lot of different people and places doing different things or just, you know, taking part in whatever your creative adventure is and you are surrounded by others, you may have to always make time to just really purge and, and purify and just get rid of anything, you know, that could be surrounding that's just not your energy. Uh, we have illumination. So, you know, a deep cleanse. And then illumination. So this is when, you know, the clouds roll back. This is when all things are clear. The fog has passed, right? So something will be made known to you. Um, so is there something that you're curious about? Is is there an aspect of your awakening that you're going through? Are you asking questions? Um, do you feel something? Are you seeing signs and symbols? But nonetheless, the illumination is just confirmation that, you know, a download, information, a leveling up of some sort is what is to come next for you. And spirit, lastly, is saying patience, right? So what are you supposed to do in this time as you are going through whatever this transitional energy energy is. You're supposed to cleanse. So think of, you know, literally look up what it means to give yourself an emotional cleanse, a physical cleanse. You know, so is that a salt bath? Is it, is it a steam room? You know, is it, is it a smoothie? Is it, is it, um, you know, is it a, a 72 hour, you know, something? I don't know. Only you will know what works for you and what speaks to you, but it's, 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 it's something tailored to you that allows you to really purge, right? Bottom of the deck is leadership. So maybe you are leveling up and stepping, stepping into some type of role where others will be following you, watching you, commenting, giving feedback, right? This will also be in a role where you will have responsibility over others. So is this in your personal life? Is this in your professional life? Is this just in how you are showing up in your own life, you know? Are you just deciding that, you know, I want my life to look and feel a certain way and I am going to take ownership and I'm going to lead this thing in this direction, right? But nonetheless, Spirit is saying, be patient with yourself, right? Trust the process. Anything you need to know is coming. Next to purification, we have fertility. All right. So you are in this energy, you are in the energy of creating, of birthing, but you have to prepare your vessel, your space for this new life, right? When, you know, 
as a human, when we are in the womb, it matters what happens while we're in there to the body that is carrying us. And so if you have something in you that you are supposed to lead and birth and create and nourish, you must be the cleanest version of you to do that, right? And so if that means we can't go to these certain places because they're not good for us. We can't be with these kind of people because they're not good for us. And when I say not good for us, are they not good for our body? They're not good for our mind. They're not good for our soul. They're not good for our emotions. You know, really be specific about why something isn't good for you anymore, right? Is this what you were learning? Is this what you, nonetheless, you're birthing, you're creating something. And if, if is this genuine true life you know is that what you're doing um and if not this is something that you are creating in your own life illumination next to that we have new beginnings so you are and that's what fertility is it's it's new it's creation um it's the moment before right so illumination and new beginnings a download will come to you you will learn something about the leveling up that you are about to step into, right? This new, this will be a new beginning in some way. You have not been here before. This is a whole new thing in life. And so will whatever you create give you this new beginning? You know, will they work in tandem? But nonetheless, in order to know what you need to know about this new be be beginning, excuse me, you have to be diligent about it about how you prepare your vessel, your body, your surroundings for what's to come, right? You have to welcome it. Be waiting when it gets there. Next to patience, we have meditation. So that's very, like, that's extremely helpful. You know, in order to practice patience, maybe spirit is saying literally attempt meditation, right? And many people are saying, I can't meditate. Well, it's because you don't have patience. So there we go. At the bottom, we have teacher. Okay, so this is confirmation. As a three, people are watching you. What you do matters. How you move in life matters. You are a leader, right? You are about to create something. You're about to have a new beginning. Spirit is going to give you a download. You need to really practice being patient with yourself because whatever is coming is big, right? And it's not just for your eyes only. And so this will be done right. And you have to be the best version of you as you welcome this in. First card out, we have Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Sun, Two of Wands, Page of Wands, the chariot, the six of wands, we need one more. So the card at the center is, first of all, we have a lot of wands, like can we agree? And the empress, oh goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, and then a page of cups. So this is, this is like that initial flutter when there's something that you desire something that you you want to explore you know something that has spoken to your heart in some kind of way that's what this you know it's like a, it's a possibility like what you know what could this be you know what is what what is it that i'm feeling what is it that i'm seeing is there potential you know could there be more that's kind of like that curiosity feeling but it's but it's in a it's in a way that that has emotionally connected you um, and so you're making a plan with that energy in mind. And you're realizing that you can go anywhere, you can do anything. Uh, this is not new to you. You have one wand, you know, behind you. So this is something familiar. You, you know how to work with this energy. You know how to work with your own energy to bring about what it is you want to see, right? So that's the stage that you're in now. And we have the sun card, which literally is illumination, right? This is the, this is the sun shining down. And, you know, ah, this is that moment when, when we see, we hear, we understand, we feel, we sense. You know, this is when it all connects the epiphany. And that's the moment you're about to step into in order to 
really prepare for this plan. And so the new beginning that is coming to you is going to be something that piques your curiosity, like this page of wands. It's going to be something that you really want to examine and master, right? This is something you're passionate about. This is something that speaks to your spirit. So what is this that's unfolding for you? You have teacher and you have leadership. And you're about to step into this new beginning. What is this role for you? You know, are you going to be in front of a crowd? Are you going to establish some kind of platform presence where others will be watching you, receiving some type of information? Nonetheless, beneath the two of wands, we have six of wands, uh, which is the energy of victory, right? And so that's what you want to see. You want to get to this victory. Um, and this is where spirit is asking you to be patient. You know, the chariot talks about moving forward. You know, there are no breaks. You're taking the good and the bad. You're taking everything that comes with this forward progress, right? Um, now that you know what you know, spirit is just saying, you know, pace does matter. And sometimes things do have to unfold in divine timing. And so be patient with the process um, and really take the slow times. Take the times where action is not required to center yourself, to soothe yourself, to really just become this, this solid being, you know, this unshakable force. Because as a leader and as a teacher, you are going to have energy directed at you, right? Some good, some bad, some just annoying and uncomfortable. But nonetheless, the, the way in which you, you navigate your life and how you respond and show up to the good and the bad is very much important. People are watching, right? And so you just have to be prepared for whatever this role is that you are about to create and step into. And so when we're cleansing ourselves, we're cleansing ourselves of all that doesn't belong to us, of things that we've picked up along the way, right? That's that purification. And we're really preparing to step into this role. Now we also have the Empress, right? So this is the energy of you know, the mother, the creator, the nurturer, an energy that's, that's just, that's, that, that's got, a, that's got everything that's just like a full package. They've got all the skill, they've got the intellect, they've got the wisdom, the passion, the desire, the love, you know, and it's when you take that, that you have this sick concoction of just, you know, creative juice, you know, that you can use to pour into whatever it is you want to manifest. And so this is the energy that you are absorbing, but you cannot absorb that from a place of chaos. It can only be from stillness. And so when spirit asks you to meditate, it's so that you can connect to this, to this version of you, this empress. You can, you can tap into all aspects of what that means for you in this energy. Right. And that is true victory when you really step into the assignment and you understand it. But it is it is in stillness and peace and comfort and solitude that that can happen. Right. Once we purify, once we cleanse ourselves, you walk, you, you have this energy of the nine of pentacles. Right. This is somebody who has just taken over their own story and they are now at a place of being totally self-sufficient, right? They've got enough for themselves, but they, they also have enough to enjoy and share with others, right? This is a giver. Anybody that has this much most likely also gives as much, right? This is abundance. This is, this is being comfortable. This is having no worries. Right. And so that can be an energy or it can be something tangible. But nonetheless, it's it's a comfort from your own effort. Right. And it is through purifying that you can begin to embrace all aspects of you, that you can birth this of you. 
right? Knight of Swords. So after you make this plan, after you see what it is you want to make, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> real in life, we step into the energy of the Knight of Swords. So, so this is where we are going full, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right, this is where we are going full speed ahead, right? And our sword does a few things. It protects us from anything that is not of integrity and truth, right? Because that's what our sword represents, our mind, our intellect, our thought. So it protects us. It clears the way from things that attempt to stop us from getting to this, this self-sufficient, you know, fertile place. Uh, but it also shows us the way because when we follow our truth, our principles, uh, when we follow our mind clearly, you know, with true conviction, we, we can't go wrong. And so I feel like, you know, ultimately this becomes the energy of the Queen of Wands. When we're talking about fertility, this is somebody that has used their life force. You know, I feel like the wand does represent the life force. Um, and that's just the unique energy that we all possess. What the wand does for me in my hand is much different from what it would do in your hand, right? We all are mysterious in our own way and our gifts are different. Um, and so whatever it is you are about to birth is unique to you and your wand. And as a queen or a king of wands, you have mastered your life force. You have mastered your ability to, to put what's in you into the world, right? Um, that's an energy of somebody who's very magnetic and attractive. People notice you, they watch you. And so we have leadership, we have teacher, we have fertility, we have queen of wands, uh, we have many wands, six of wands, another energy of people watching you. Um, and so I feel like you definitely are about to step into you know, the eyesight, the vision of others. Others are about to see you as you unfold on this journey. Um, but I think that's beautiful. I definitely believe it's something that you, you are prepared for. Um, and it seems like you, all of the wands just talk about the passion, the approach that you are moving into this new beginning. <coughs> I'm so sorry for coughing. <clears throat> but yes. And so threes, I think that whatever is to come, I think you are very optimistic and I think you are trusting all of your gifts. And I think you are fully aware of what is expected of you. I don't think you're surprised that this is where you are. I think you know what it is you desire. I think you know what you want to see. Um, and if you're not yet in action, if you haven't yet gotten to the place of, of true, of the true pursuit, it, it, you will come and you will master it very comfortably, right? Whatever you're creating, it is going to re require the best of you. And take time out for you to think, to reflect, to gather, to ask, and to simply power up. All right, Threes, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully something in here was useful. Take care.